So I just finished up my cardio. Um, I Right now my cardio is not really like crazy. Um, I have 20 minutes of a steady state cardio that'll do. Um, and then I have um, two sessions of hit cardio with seven intervals each. Um, I started off with six intervals, uh, but we just recently added um, two more intervals. So each day got, you know, one interval. Um, you know, the good thing is, is that on my off season, I didn't overdo the cardio. Actually, I only did maybe like 20 to 30 minutes of cardio per week. Um, that was it. So I'm actually really happy that I did that because since I did that, um, by just incorporating the two sessions of hit cardio and also the steady state, which I was already doing, um, I don't have to kill myself on cardio because my body's responding, um, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, so I know uh, some people, you know, as soon as they start prep, they just go ahead and they just start off with like an hour of cardio a day. Um, I don't believe in doing that shit. Uh, been there, done it. It's not fucking worth it. Um, so I, I believe in using cardio as a tool when diet and exercise aren't enough. Um, I know when you're in contest prep, it's obviously different than like general population who just wants to lose weight. Um, but in my opinion for general population, I'd focus on nutrition and weight training before incorporating cardio and try to lose weight that way. Um, because it's just gonna, it's gonna be more enjoyable because who likes cardio? I mean, I know there are some people that do. And if, if you do enjoy doing cardio, you know, then do it, you know, don't not do it because people are like, Oh, fuck cardio. I don't like cardio. Um, if you enjoy it, do it. Um, I've never really been a big cardio person. So that's why I'm kind of like, Oh, I hate cardio, yada, yada, yada. Um, but you know, not all of us are like that. So, and, and I respect that. Um, so yeah, so that was just a quick little update. So it's about seven o'clock on a Saturday night. I'm getting ready to do my second session of HIIT cardio for the week. Um, I'm in a parking lot, that's my car. I'm getting ready to, to do uh, car pushes actually. Um, so I have seven intervals of this. And then after this, um, I plan on going to do the sensory deprivation isolation chamber. This is something that I've always wanted to go do. So uh, that's kind of my motivation to get through this hit session. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this done. Uh, hopefully get some footage of me doing this. Um, it may be kind of hard, um, but we're going to try. So uh, let's get it done so we can go ahead and float. So that was my first interval. Um, when I do the, do these, sorry, I can't talk. Um, when I do do car pushes, um, I aim for intensity. Um, when I'm pushing this car, I try to push it as hard and as fast as I can. Um, basically thinking like it's a race. So I'm trying to get from this point to down there like as fast as I can um, the car is in neutral so it's not in drive um, and towards the end there it's like the <clears throat> the parking lot kind of like went uphill like on an incline so it became a little bit harder but that's okay I just got to work harder um, so basically this is the whole idea behind car pushes. Okay. Go. So that one was a lot harder. That one was a uh, 
can't even see myself. So that one was a lot harder. That one was literally on a hill. Um, so it's like I wasn't able to go like as fast, but uh, so try to keep that intensity and just keep pushing it out. So this is uh, basically my hit. So I do this twice a week and it sucks, but I kind of love it. That's how you do fucking car pushes right there. Ladies, get off the fucking treadmill and go push some cars. You want the glutes? This shit works the glutes. Man. Two more to go. Two more. So it is about 7.40 on a Friday night and I'm just now heading to the gym. Um, I have legs to train. Um, today it's been like one of those days where it's just like a blah day where, you know, you just feel like you look like shit. Um, you know, today was like one of those days where I didn't have like that harder vascular look that I had like other days. Um, I just look like really soft today and when I was practicing posing I was just having like a total mind fuck moment like man I'm not making any progress like this week just sucked um which I'm sure isn't true uh tomorrow I I do my check-in with myself so um we'll see but um I just look I feel like I look a little puffier today softer today um you know I'm tomorrow makes 15 weeks out so it's like I'm getting into that phase of like the mind fuckery um you know people are like oh my god you look fantastic this and that and this and that and for me I just kind of take these comp these compliments with a grain of salt um because a lot of times what I've seen happen before in the past is with uh, other female competitors or figure competitors fit fitness competitors whatever kind of fucking female competitors there are but uh figure competitors sorry I really can't think right now um they listen to people who tell them that they look very good and these people have no experience in the world of competing or anything like that and so they buy into it because I mean we all love to hear compliments of course we do but when these people go and they compete and then when they get up on stage, like, they get blown away. And it just, it makes me think, like, are you buying into these compliments that these people are giving you? Um, yeah, I mean, of course, you lose weight. Everyone's like, oh, my God, you look great. You look great. But it's a whole different breed when you're competing. Um, you know, like, pe what people saying, like, giving me compliments. I really can't talk right now. Like, I really don't know what the fuck is going on with me. Um, like, my my food hasn't been cut, so I, I don't really know. I think I'm just, it's just the end of the night. Um, I've been answering emails all day, so I think my brain is just kind of, like, fried at this point. Um, but, uh, I don't even know where I was going with that, but it doesn't matter. I'll probably probably remember once I turn the camera off um anyway so yeah so I just take compliments with a grain of salt um you know for people who compliment me and you know show me support and stuff like I really do appreciate it like I'm not saying that I'm just like I'll blow it off but I have a different standard for myself and I've seen too many women um get complimented from people and they end up looking like shit on stage so I guess that's why I kind of take it for what it's worth which is a grain of salt but um anyway I just stopped and I just got some like black coffee um I just need a little extra boost to get me through this leg workout so um I'm gonna go ahead and uh get to drive in over to powerhouse because right now I'm sitting in the parking lot of Wawa's um 
So hopefully I can uh, catch some uh, footage of me doing legs. Um, nothing fancy. Um, no anus shots or anything like that. So if that's what you're looking for, you're not getting it. But um, yeah, and uh, maybe just put in a couple notes or video notes of me talking and all that good shit. So, uh, all right, guys, I just got to get my mind right. I just got to get in the zone and get ready to fucking kill this shit. So, uh, next up, powerhouse. So I just finished training legs. Um, I didn't get any footage. Uh, it was just like one of those things where, I started off and I was like really tired. I didn't really feel like fucking with my phone, but then like towards the end I started feeling better and then once I was done I was like, oh shit, I didn't uh, record this like I said, but I'll get better at that. Um, so tonight for legs, what I did is um, I did hack squats, um, four sets with 330 pounds and then after that, I did um, split squats with uh, 45 pound dumbbells, uh, four sets of 12. Then I did um, hip thrusts, uh, single leg with a 40 pound dumbbell on my hip. Um, and I did three sets of 15. And then from there, I superset it um, leg extensions and hamstring curls. Sorry totally lost my track there um, for leg extensions I did uh, three sets of 14 um, with 110 pounds and for lying hamstring curls I did um, three sets of 20 at 50 pounds sorry I'm like trying to like walk through my my training here um, I guess that's what I get for not recording it. Um, and then I just finished off with caps, of course. Um, I did uh, four sets of 20, or no, four sets of 22, excuse me, with uh, 210 pounds. So that was my training. Um, you know, it, it kind of started off a little rough because I was kind of like, oh God, like I was just dreading it. But then once I got going, like I was good. I don't know if it was just a mental thing or if it was like the coffee. Um, probably wasn't the coffee um it was it was just a mental thing so once once I get moving I'm good to go um right now it is 9 30 at night and I still have car pushes to do so um I'm not gonna go wait uh to do these uh because last weekend I actually well I was supposed to do them on Friday night uh, right after my legs because I really like doing car pushes after legs because I just I like the feeling and like the pump and like my legs are already kind of fatigued so I just kind of like adding more torture to myself um it's not really torture um yeah so I still got to get that done last week I pushed it off until Saturday uh Saturday is usually like my off days I like having one day where I'm just completely off and I totally totally dreaded it um so yeah so right now um I'm going to go run home, going to go pick up Gillis because he has to steer the car while I push the car. Um, and yeah, we're going to go ahead and just get this shit done so I could just get my weekend rolling and just uh, have an off day tomorrow and just relax. So uh, yeah, so that's it for training. Still got those car pushes to hit. Um, I'll get better at taking video footage. So let's go get those car pushes.